Assalamu alaikum guys, in this video we will talk about registering policies in Laravel 11. If we go to Laravel documentations here, and this registering part for Laravel 11, as we can see, we will say Laravel automatically will discover the policies if we follow the standards, right, or naming conventions. What's the naming conventions? Policy classes will be under app policies folder, and it will be named for example, post policy or model name plus policy here, and Laravel will detect it automatically. But if we go to, for example, the Laravel 10 here, we can see first generate policy. You can specify the model also here, and then we need it needs to be registered in OS service provider. But now in Laravel 11, we don't need to register it if we follow the name convention we will learn also how to register it manually so let's start for example i will generate a new policy which we artisan make policy and i will say post policy for model post generated back to our base code and as we can see for example i will use it for update I will say return current authenticated user role equal equal to admin. The admin only can update the post. Here my database users model. We have admin here. And now let's use it in our controller. I will say get authorize and now it's detected automatically. We didn't we didn't register it in any file. I will say update and as a parameter because it takes parameter here by default it will detect the user we need to pass a post model i would say as a parameter post here authorize argument is if you have multiple parameters it must be an array right so let's back and send a request it's a forbidden 403 why because we must log in first so i will say here quickly us login using id login as user id number one if we back and refresh it works correctly back and change admin to editor refresh 403 right it's detected automatically here sometimes you may to define it manually if you don't like this automatic discovery we can go to app service provider and here in the documentation we can say get policy i will say get policy for model post class model use the post policy class and if we need to create a new one called another post policy i will use it here also another post policy class right it will not be used this post policy will not be used but another will be used so if i go and send a request again i get this error because i must implement update inside another post policy okay so back and let's implement it here return current authenticated user role must be admin back and check the user is not an admin now 403 let's let's change it to admin send and work successfully. So here's quickly about policy registration in Laravel 11. If you found it useful, support me by clicking on like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next videos.